Hello guys, this is Vice. So today is uh, May 1, May 1st and it's a Monday. So usually uh, students tell like I will start studying on Monday or I'll start studying on the first of a month. So today is like a combination of both first and Monday. Okay, so today also if you don't start, then uh, it's your fault only that okay, you lack discipline and that is why you are not preparing. So today Monday, we will discuss history MCQs and uh, today's questions are taken from uh, Nitin Singhania textbook. Okay, so every day it's a different textbook and in this uh, full country, every institute if you take, we are the only ones who uh, provide test series textbook wise. Okay, every textbook we have a 100 question or 200 question uh, MCQ series and uh, that itself is sufficient for you to clear the prelims. Okay, so if you are 20, 23 aspirant, please WhatsApp me in this number and you can enroll to the paid test series like this different packs are there so every subject every textbook wise uh, coverage is there and you will easily clear the prelims question number one for today which of the following are true comparing to egyptian civilization the indus valley civilization had smaller palaces but larger temples indus valley civilization was aware of gypsum all houses in the lower part of indus valley civilization essentially had multiple rooms and were two-storied one only, two, three only, one, two, three, two only. So here is an easy question and it's like a kind of repetitive also which uh, UPSC once asked in the uh, past. Okay, uh, Indus Valley civilization uh, did not have temples and also this uh, large temples existing. Uh, that is uh, wrong. Okay, so if you eliminate uh, that, you will be stuck with 2, 3 only and uh, 2 only. That means Indus Valley Civilization were aware of the gypsum. Now, this one is an extreme statement. All houses in the lower part essentially had multiple room and that is obviously wrong. Okay, so answer is 2 only. So, it's one of the easiest question and is taken from Nitin Singhania's uh, uh, textbook. Okay, so this one answer D. Many, uh, mainly three types of buildings have been found in the excavation sites, dwelling houses, uh, public building and public bath. The Harappans used burnt mud bricks of uh, standardized dimensions for the purpose of construction. Many layers of well-baked bricks were laid out and then joined together using gypsum mortar. So obviously they were aware of gypsum. Indus Valley civilization do not have large monumental structures such as temples or palaces, unlike the Egyptian and Mesopotamian who had uh, those kind of structures. Okay, The granaries were inter intelligently designed with a strategic air duct and raised platform which helped in storage of grains and protecting from the pest. In the lower part of the city, small one-roomed houses have been found which might have been used as quarters by the working class people. Some of the houses have stairs which indicate that they might have been double-storied. Mostly buildings have private wells and properly ventilated bathrooms. They had excellent drainage systems. Cess pits were placed at regular intervals. The importance uh, placed on hygiene, both personal and public, is quite impressive. Presence of wells have also been observed at many sites. So they were a very well-planned kind of city, but it's not like everybody had two-storied house and everybody had a bigger multi-roomed house and all. It can be small houses also. Question number two, which of the following are true about Indus Valley seals? Many Indus Valley seals have been found in Mesopotamia. Some instances of gold and ivory seals have been found. No evidence of cow has been found on any seal. Okay, so this level of detailing is mentioned in certain textbooks like Nathan Singhania. From there only we have made this question. Okay, so this actually every statement is uh, true. Okay, B123 is the answer. Many scholars argue that Mesopotamian people of the Tigris Euphrates Valley called the Indus Valley civilization as Meluha. Many Indus Valley seals have been found in Mesopotamia. Okay, so statement one is correct. While most of the seals are square, it was found that the triangular, rectangular, circular seals were also being used. Statite, a soft stone found in the riverbed, was although the most common material used to make seals, yet this agate, shirt, copper, fines and terracotta seals have also been found. Some instances of gold and ivory seals are also found. So statement 1 is true, statement 2 is true. Okay. Now only option you have is this only. So statement 3 is also true. So most of the seals have inscriptions in the pictographic script which is yet to be deciphered. The script was written mostly from right to left, okay, right to left, but bidirectional writing that is right to left on one line and left to right on another line, okay. So you will write right to left like this, then next line you will write left to right, then again you will write right to left. So that's a kind of bidirectional writing uh, they had, okay, but till now it is not deciphered and you cannot read what they have written, okay. So actual Sorry, animal impressions were also there, generally five, which were carved in Talgo on the surfaces. 
the common animal motifs were unicorn, humped bull, rhinoceros, tiger, elephant, buffalo, bison, goat, marker, ibex, crocodiles. Meaning these kind of all seals have been recovered from various sites. But cow, evidence of cow has not been found on any seal. So statement 3 is also uh, true. Okay, so generally there will be human or animal figure on one side and some inscription on the other side. Okay, or sometimes inscriptions on both sides. Some seals had inscription on a third side as well. Okay, meaning in the uh, side, uh, third side means you can imagine if you keep the coin vertically, uh, how it will be that that side also something is written okay so seals were primarily used for commercial purposes and helped in communication discovery of various seals in mesopotamia and various sites such as lothal indicate that seals were extensively used for trade some seals with a hole on them have been found on dead bodies indicating it uses as amulets carried on persons of their owners probably seen as some form of identification okay so there is some such kind of hole based coins also mathematical images have been found on some seals which might have been used for educational purpose as well then there is this uh, swastika kind of symbol also sometimes have been found. There is unicorn seal and Pashupati seal which is the most famous. Pashupati seal is made of this tetite uh, rock uh, discovered at Mohanjodaro. This uh, depicts a human figure on a deity sitting cross-legged. The figure referred as Pashupati wears a three-horned headgear and surrounded by animals. Okay, there is elephant and tiger uh, on the left side of the figure while rhinoceros and uh, bull on the right side. Okay, so you can remember something like BR. E.T. Okay, Brett, Buffalo, Rhino, uh, Elephant and Tiger. Then two antelopes are also there shown in the below the seat of the figure. These many animals are there on the Pashupati seal. So, UPC can ask that. Question number three. Which of the following are true with respect to Harappan civilization? Most of the potteries that have been found are very fine wheel made wares with a very few being handmade. Perforated potteries were found which is assumed to have been used for straining liquor. For fabric, only the rich spun wool while the poor spun cotton. Okay. So, here 2 only, 3 only, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 only. So, here they're telling many were having um, like wheel made and few were uh, handmade. That is actually true. Okay. So, 1 you need in the answer. So, these 2 will go away. Then 2 automatically becomes correct that uh, there is perforated or like small holes will be there in the pots. So, you can use it for straining liquor. That is actually true because in both the options 2 is there. Now, third one, only the rich spun wool while the poor one cotton. This is wrong. Okay, then extreme statement. Both uh, equally, they will uh, be spinning wool and uh, cotton. So, answer is uh, D, 1, 2 only. The painted pottery is also known as red and black pottery. Okay, as it's used red color to paint the background and glossy black paint was used to draw designs and figures on the red background. Tree, bird, animal figures, geometrical patterns are the themes of the paintings. So, most of the potteries have been found uh, are very well wheel made and very few are handmade. Examples are polychrome pottery have been found though very rare. Pottery is used for three main purposes. Plain pottery used for household purposes, okay, for storing anything. Miniature vessels, generally less than half an inch in size, were used for decorative purposes. Then potteries were perforated, as I do, large hole in the bottom and small holes across the side might be used for straining liquor. So, plain miniature decorative one and then perforated. Then Harappans used a large variety of materials from precious metals and gemstones to bones and even baked clay to make ornaments. Both men and women were over ornaments. Okay, that you have to know. While uh, necklaces, fillets, armlets and finger rings. All these were used by women. Beads from this carnelian, emis, quartz, these are different types of rocks or precious metals you can tell, uh, were uh, quite popular and were produced on a large scale as it is evident from the factories discovered in Chanodaro and Lothal. So, these are the places where precious uh, stones and gems you can find. For fabric, the Harappans used cotton and wool which are spun by the rich and poor alike. Okay, both of them same way. The people of the time were conscious of fashion as well and can be inferred from the different styles of hair and beard. So, this is the explanation and this as I told, we have lectures also free of cost Nitin Singhania. You can go and watch them to learn more. Which of the following are true with respect to Mauryan Empire? The palace of Chandragupta Maurya was inspired from palaces in Iran. Sen certain parts of pillars of Ashoka drew inspiration from pillars of Iran. So options, one only, two only, both one and two, neither one or two. Okay, so the palace and the pillars of uh, these two people of the same uh, Mauryan dynasty, did it inspire anything from Iran is the uh, question. So here answer is 
C, both one and two, both are true. Okay, Ashoka's palace in this uh, Kumarahar in Patna was a massive structure, high central pillar, three-storied wooden structure. They had decoration with carvings and sculpture. Mauryan Empire was the first powerful empire to come to power in India. The capital at Patliputra and the palaces at Kumarahar were created to reflect the splendor of the empire. And this uh, palace of Chandragupta Maurya was inspired from this Achaemenid palace in Iran. Okay, wood was the principal building material. Megasthenes described the place, uh, sorry, the palace as one of the greatest creation of mankind. Okay, Megasthenes is like a kind of a Greek uh, uh, ambassador. Okay, you can tell. So, during the uh, reign of Ashoka, the insp inscription on pillars as a symbol of the state or to commemorate battle victories assumed great significance. Okay, he had a lot of pillars and rock edict and all under his time. So, he used this in, uh, used to put, put inscription on it and put it in different parts of the country even to uh, communicate with the people. Okay, so on an average 40 feet height uh, pillars it was and it had a shaft and sandstone was used. And then here if you see the bell-shaped capital were influenced by the Iranian pillar. So certain parts as we told in the question of the Ashokan pillar was inspired from the Euro Iranian pillar. Okay, but there is a lot of differences and that and all we have put a revision chart which uh, your students who enrolled to test series will get it. We have explained the difference between the uh, Ashokan pillar and the uh, Iranian uh, pillar okay, with the pictures. So this Abascus and you know Sarnath pillar is there from which our national emblem is also taken. So there uh, we have this uh, uh, four animals okay in the western side a galloping horse, eastern side elephant, bull in the the south and lion in the north so this kind of thing sometimes upsc can uh, ask you okay question number five which are the following are true about stupas the entire stupa structure was made using burnt bricks sanchi stupa in madhya pradesh is the oldest stupa to be discovered by the end of period of ashoka the art of stupas reached its climax okay so options are two only one two three three only none of these so here again it's again easy question by based on the uh, statements so if you see here the entire stupa Okay, that is an extreme statement. Okay, it's not like entire thing will be made with burnt bricks. So, one you can eliminate. Now, it's like either two or three. So, this one is a GK fact which you should know. This, in fact, is the most famous stupa. Okay, Sanchi stupa in Madhya Pradesh. But it's not the oldest one. Okay, so this also you can eliminate. By the end of Ashoka, the stupas actually ended. Because after that, you didn't hear much about a lot of stupas and all. So, that is why statement three is correct. Answer is C. So, Buddhism, Jainism came, the Shramana tradition came and uh, everything changed, okay, by the time uh, they came and then Mauryan Empire came and, you know, Ashoka became a big uh, Buddhist kind of person after the uh, Kalinga war and all. So, both were opposing the, you know, the Buddhism, Jainism opposing the Varna, Jati system and all these things. And stupas were burial mounds prevalent in India from the Vedic period, okay. During the Ashoka's time only, it reached its climax. Almost 84,000 stupas were erected during his period. After the death of stup uh, Buddha, nine stupas were erected, okay. Now, if you see here, Sanchi Stupa is the most famous one, but this uh, Piparva Stupa in Uttar Pradesh is the oldest one, okay, which is discovered. Then the core of the Stupa was made of unburnt brick, while the outer surface was made by burnt bricks. So that is why I told it's not like completely made by uh, this thing. So, okay, and this nine Stupas, which was after death of Buddha, the locations are given here, okay. Uh, Rajagraha, Vaisali, Kapalavastu, Alkapa, Ramagrama, okay, Pava. So in and around uh, that area, you can tell UP, Bihar, Nepal area, it is where it is uh, made, okay. So, all these, as I told, is taken from this pack 2. So, if you enroll to that, you will get like this 1600 questions, which is taken from individual textbooks. Chapter wise, it is done and it is enough for you. And it is like unlimited PDF validity is there. You can study now, you can study later. Whenever you want, you can study. Okay, if you are a 24 aspirant, you can wait for a better pack because we are designing much more updated questions and uh, detailed explanations. Okay, but 23 aspirants, your exam is nearing, you have to enroll now. Okay, because after the exam, if you feel like questions came directly from these things, then you will be regretting. Okay, so don't uh, wait for uh, that time and be late so keep practicing we have covered all the textbooks needed for you lectures are completely free mcqs only you have to just buy it and practice at home and you can easily score 100 plus marks in prelims okay so tomorrow the next episode will come please whatsapp me and begin your studies in the right way